If you've seen the show Say Yes to the Dress, chances are you know the bridal brand Haley Page. It was the work of Haley Page Gutman, who now legally goes by Cheval after contract renegotiations with her former employer went south. Yeah, it's really wild. It left her unable to publicly use the name Haley Page, her name at all. She lost her job and her social media accounts. She basically had to start her career all over again, and she is here with us now. Cheval is your name now. You're the creative director of a new brand. She is Cheval. So it's first great for you to be here with us. Thank you so much for joining us. T take us through sort of your tumultuous journey. It really is the story of an entrepreneur, but things also went sideways. So tell us about how you got here. So I signed an employment agreement as a head designer uh, with my former employer when I was 25 years old mm -hmm. without a lawyer. Flash forward about nine years later, growing this brand and producing for so many wonderful brides out there, uh, my contract was coming to an end and I attempted to renegotiate, come to the table and um, hope for the best. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, the delta in what I felt my value and contributions were to the company did not align with that of my former employer and essentially it resulted in them suing me in a federal court for the right to use my own name uh, in any business or commerce or even to publicly identify myself. So in this process, you lost the right to use your legal birth name. Looking forward, how did you pick your new name and what's the advice you have for someone who's going through a career setback, no matter how big or small? I think um, having a forward momentum is a big thing. Mm -hmm. Just believing in your purpose and that progress every day is so important. So for me, while it was very upsetting, I felt like being a, a victim of circumstance would be much worse than moving forward with my life. So I chose the name Cheval, which is the French word for horse. Yeah. And I've always identified with the imaginative qualities of unicorns and pegasuses and coming from bridal. It just felt very sentimental, mm. but it also had this bit of strength to it. It almost has a masculine spirit, which I love the idea of just being powerful and running against the wind while also leaving some sparkle along the way. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So in October, you made a big career pivot. You went from designing dresses to now designing shoes. Talk to us a little bit about some of the lessons that you've learned in this process. I mean, you are a serial entrepreneur. We wish you the very best. What would you tell other women or people who are in that position? I think reframing is so important and choosing where your energy goes. Mm -hmm. I really focused on what I still had. You know, I'm still here. Yeah. I might not be able to use the same identifiers that I'm comfortable with, but I still had these amazing connections to the women and the small businesses that I've met over the years. And that really brought a level of enthusiasm and just accountability in my skill set. And while I had to change my trade, yeah. um, I really focused on things that I could bring to the table. You know, what are these skills that I have? And as a piece of advice for anyone looking to make a career pivot, I think it's important to really understand what is your value? What is something that you have to say? And for me, Shoes felt like I could manifest my own destiny, and it was a way to kind of tap into my skill set in a way. Yeah. Um, and, you know, I'm just going for it. And you didn't give up. No, exactly. You've also learned it's important to know your legal rights. Yeah. I mean, real quickly here, what's your advice to people, especially in the creative field? Definitely hire a lawyer. I'll say that, number one. Um, I think it's important to also look at, you know, what you want out of a contract. Mm -hmm. And if you're finding that, you know, the general statement is, um, we'll figure this out later, mm -hmm. or this is something we can negotiate later, mm. uh, you don't, you maybe want to avoid that. Yeah, that might not be in your best interest. It's in there, because um, circumstances can change, and you want to have the variables um, in control in some some way that a gatekeeper isn't preventing you from doing something. Yeah. Uh, and there's some buzzwords, too, like perpetuity. That's mm -hmm. a scary one. Yeah. Um, and then you'd want to limit your term, you know, how long you'll be in the contract All for. Right. Cheval, All thank advice. you so much. Creative yeah. director of Shia Cheval with some great career advice. We appreciate you joining us. Thank you for having me. Yeah, good to meet you. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.